True or false? Your boss gives you a work remote day. Can you or can you not spend the entire day in your pajamas or laying on the beach? There are four keys to the success of your work remote day. Number one, set expectations. Expectations, expectations with your direct management about what you expect to accomplish during that day. It's extremely important when you're given the liberty of working remote that the person that's cutting your check, putting food on the table for you, understands what you expect to accomplish. So number one, make sure that you are very clear on what you expect to do while you're there. Number two, set a schedule for yourself. This includes break time. Right? This is a very common mistake that I see a lot of junior guys do. They'll give themselves a schedule and they'll say, today's my work remote day, I'm going to work for nine hours, I really want to impress my boss, and they forget to bake in lunch. Right? Might sound really silly. Treat it as if you were in the office. Think about the break that you might have, when that's going to occur, 12.30 to 1.30, whatever time it is, and then make sure that you actually take that break. You need it. Your mind is a muscle and you need to relax it in order to be successful. Point number three, get the right equipment. So the right equipment, if you're doing a standard white collar work remote job, is probably going to be a high quality headset. Get yourself a really nice boon mic, a headset. A mic that stops right here and make sure it's wired. The wireless mics don't work very well. Bluetooth does have its perks, but when you're working remote, you want to have that landline connection. Trust me on this one. The quality is way better. Plantronics makes a really good set. They don't pay me to say that but it's a brand that I recommend if you guys want to check them out. If you're using any sort of video conference technology, get a nice webcam, I'm a big fan of Logitech, and make sure that the backdrop that you have is a nice backdrop that's calming to the eye and that's distraction free. So here we have a backdrop with basically just a whiteboard, and over here you can see the background of Manhattan because I'm in the office. So it's very easy, it's very distraction free, you can keep focused on the subject. That's what you want your participants in your web conference to experience as well. One fine but very important detail on the equipment, when you're on conference calls and you're not actually talking, put yourself on mute. Trust me on this one. The last thing you want is somebody making noise in the background, dog barking, child screaming, somebody opening up a refrigerator, squeaky door, UPS guy comes, you name it. You don't want that on your conference call. So just hit mute and don't forget to unmute yourself when you come back. It's as simple as that, but believe me, it makes a big difference. Just a pro tip for you. Point number four, always, always, always be on time. I'm gonna triple underline this one. Very, very, very important. When you are working remote, Perception is everything. If your clients, if your boss, if your peers think that you're slacking off, you're slacking off. If they think that you're working hard, you're working hard. So to project the correct image for yourself, you need to A, actually work hard, right? and then B, exude behaviors that show that, that demonstrate that. One of the most important behaviors is being on time. Start your conference calls on time, Make sure that if you've got them back to back, you leave yourself a little bit of break so you can get off, use the restroom, grab coffee, whatever. Always start and end on time. So these are the top four. I promised you four keys. However, bonus section. Who's ready for a bonus? Here it is. So bonus points that you want to keep in mind. One, dress the part. This is totally optional. I find it helpful. You can actually work remote in your pajamas if you really want. I find it nicer to step into some business casual clothing before I sit down to actually begin my work. I can't really focus if I'm not dressed appropriately, that's just me, but make your own decision on it, that's why it's a bonus item. Second bonus item, after hours availability. Make sure that you're available after hours. I know I told you to fix the schedule before, that's why this is a bonus item. If you're available afterwards and your direct management knows they can reach you after hours, they're gonna love you that much more, they're gonna see more value in you working remote and they're gonna want you to do it more, which is gonna give you a lot more flexibility. A third and final bonus point here, share your location. You want your team to know where you are. Maybe you're close to a client, maybe you're close to the office. Make sure everyone understands physically where you are and how long you're gonna be there. So that's it, those are the secrets to working remote. Now what I want you guys to do for me is leave me a comment below and send me the most exotic work location that you've ever worked from using my technique. Send me a picture, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe.